Hey guys, I'm Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. So today I want to take a quick look at the Zactech Whisper Transmitter. This is a device that is designed solely to run Whisper and test out your antenna, see how good propagation is, any combination of the above. It does it on multiple bands. We're going to take a look at the application as well as the actual device. The first thing I want to take a look at is the web page that Zactech has. So let's jump over there and take a look at this. So this is the uh, this is the actual Zactech device here, and you can see he's got pictures of it. The kit that I bought was already assembled and included everything that I'm going to talk about. It has a GPS antenna with it. It has a GPS unit built in. It runs off of USB. I believe it's USB micro. And of course it has an antenna connector, uh, SMA. The device is small. It's about the size of a cigarette pack. If you look at these on Zactech's website, you can see there's a whole lot of different variations of what these things are. Now you can get just a whisper receiver and uh, you know com needs to add components. So if you wanna build a kit and then there's various other variations of it, smaller kits, all the parts, yada, 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 yada. So I bought the desktop transmitter and this transmits and receives, it's a transceiver. And I've been running it this morning when I'm recording this video for, I don't know, a couple hours, maybe three. And so I have PSK Reporter up here, as you can see. This is all the bands that I've picked up on Whisper in the last couple hours. Let's go back uh, three hours and a few more. I'm running this right now on a Chameleon MCOM 3 portable that's rigged up out in my front yard. It's not optimally configured. It's about mm, 12 feet on one end and 15 feet on the other in a sloping configuration. Totally not optimal. I was playing with NVIS last week, so I didn't rerun the antenna. I just kind of left it where it was. And you can see here, uh, this is all the different bands that we've gotten. Here's a 12 meter connection. Here's uh, 17 meters. Here is 10 meters. I got one 10 meter connection, contact rather. And, uh, and we can, obviously we can filter that over here on PSK Reporter and tell it go. And so here's all my 20 meter contacts on Whisper in the last couple hours. And of course we can zoom in on that and take a closer look. Let's jump to 10 meters because I know I saw one 10 meter contact and we've gotten somebody in the UK 26 minutes ago on the 10 meter band. That's not bad. This thing is designed to let you run Whisper without having to tie up your rig, right? I don't have to have my expensive radio running all the time on that power supply. This is running off USB. Literally, you can run this thing off of a battery. Now, let me show you the app. So the app, the way this thing works is you do the configuration here in the app and then you don't need the app anymore. I left it running for the purposes of this video, but once you set all this, you save these settings to the actual Zactech device and you're done. And it saves those settings in the device on EEPROM so that the next time you fire it up, you don't even have to connect and set anything. It will come up and do whatever you've predefined when you did the settings. So I've got it transmitting on 10 to 40. Uh, this particular one, green shows the uh, indicators of what bands are built in on this particular unit. This antenna ain't 80 meters um, and it's the middle of the day when I'm running this right now anyway. So we set our call sign, any prefixes or suffixes if you wanted to do that. We can have our schedule of how often we um, transmit it has info on different things that'll tell you. So this will schedule the same schedule as used by WSJTX if I have that enabled, which is pretty cool. And actually I could change that and you notice that it changed what it did right there. See the GPS conditions over here, the status of the device. And of course it's GPS locked, so it's staying on frequency. You can set your location via GPS or manually by using your grid square. You can update and send the more pro precise location, which I'm not fooling with. And our reported power is 23 dBm. That can be adjusted 
and then tell it to stop and start. You can also have a pause after each run through the bands. So what this does is hit each band in turn, and right now it's working on 12 meters. And once it finishes 12, it's gonna to go to 10, and then it's gonna start all over again. And like I said, so then you could build in a pause there. It has a built-in signal generator. If you'd wanna do that, I haven't used that. That's not why I got this thing. And then you can tell it what you want to do on boot up, jump into the signal generator, start up as a whisper beacon station, or come up and do nothing. As it runs over USB, it's a serial device. All it requires is a standard USB micro connection on the device side and an A, I assume, on the other. This is the cool part. Once you've got this thing configured and you've saved the settings, you really can run this whole operation in a literally in a shoebox with an antenna connection. You need one for your GPS. If you're using GPS, you don't have to. And then you can set the thing somewhere on a particular antenna and let it run. So that's about it. And the device is, is really uh, pretty straightforward. If you would give me a thumbs up, make sure you share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel. It'll make you happy. That's all I've got for this one. Y'all have a great day.